All right, this uh, video is brought to you by the Cisco Guys. Our website is thesiscoguys.com. My email is carlos at the Cisco Guys or toll free at 844 yes VoIP. 844 yes VoIP. I'm going to be showing you some demonstrations on the uh, Cisco 508, got a Cisco 504. Uh, another Cisco 508 and we're going to be calling that phone for external calls. Uh, they're being powered by a Cisco 3660 48 port, meaning you can have up to 40 phones with one of those switches without the need of an AC adapter. I'm going to be going a little bit over the uh, overview. Um, this is the hold button when you're on a call and you want to place the call on hold. This is where that button is. Um, if you want to pick up the speakerphone, that's where the speakerphone is. Uh, you got your voicemail. Um, Password. That's the voicemail button. So to access your voicemail, which is the um, one of the most frequently asked questions, is you press that button. Password. One, two, three, four, pound. You have no messages. Press two to change folders. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 0 for mailbox options. Press star for help or pound to exit. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. Press 2 to record your busy message. Press 3 to record your name. Press 4 to manage your temporary greeting. Press 5 to change your password. As you can see, once you press the um, voicemail button, default password is 1234 you press zero and it'll walk you through the whole entire process of setting up your uh, busy message, your unavailable message, changing your password, or any of that good stuff. Um, for this demonstration, I am going to be calling, we're gonna simulate, this is the phone from the outside, right? This party is calling you from New York, Miami, it doesn't matter, they're not in the office. Right, so we're going to be calling these phones, and they can be set up any way that you wish to be set up. As an example, when they first call in, you can have one phone, just this one, just the receptionist. You can have um, all of them ring, right, every single phone in your office. You can have just these two, then another one, right. Uh, possibilities are endless, and you only need one phone number for that. You don't need to have uh, multiple numbers like we used to do back in the days. So like I said, for this demonstration purposes, this is going to be calling in and this is going to be an incoming call from an outside party. Okay. So this call comes in from the outside, right? So you can press the button there. You can press speakerphone. You can pick up the handset. Um, which, whichever method you want to use, that's how you pick up the... Uh, um, this particular call. So like I mentioned before, if this call is for you, right, only for yourself, you can go ahead and put it on hold if you want to put it, wish you to put it, put it on hold. Okay, party on the outside starts hearing uh, whole music. And that whole music, we can configure it to be um, advertisement for your business, any uh, music that you want, uh, we can configure that for each individual business. As you can see, for this purpose, we see that line 101 is busy and 102 is busy, right? Because we're just simulating that call coming from the outside. As soon as we hang up the call, we know that those two calls are available. And that's how the receptionist knows who's the, who the call is for. So um, that's how you place a call on hold. Now we're going to be showing you th uh, three things. We're going to be showing you how to do a transfer. Transfer is done when somebody calls in and it's for the boss or somebody in the office and you want to tell them who it's for, right? Who's calling actually. So if the person from the outside is calling and their client is upset and you want to give that person a heads up first, you will use transfer. Blind transfer would be you would just send a call instantly to the other party, um, not telling them anything. And park, parking a call 
it's going to be basically a, a client wants to speak to someone in the office, that person's on the other line, that person may be outside, uh, might be busy and they want to hold. You, you don't want to press the hold button in that situation because that's going to keep your line busy, right? So we're going to put them on a parking spot and we'll show you in a minute how that works. So first we're going to try the uh, transfer feature. We're going to try it a couple different ways. So we're going to call from the outside. Okay, call is coming in from the outside. And for this demonstration, we're going to transfer it to extension 103. Okay, 103 is going to be the extension that you're going to transfer it. Now, if you did not have this function here, this um, sidecar, I'm going to show you how to do it just on the phone. Okay, so I'll lower that for feedback purposes. Um, so what you do is, in the phone itself, you have blind transfer, park, do a conference and do a transfer. So those are your options that you see while you're on the call. And they change once we hang up, you'll see different uh, functions. Um, so let's go ahead and transfer this to extension 103 if you did not have the sidecar. So for example, let's say that you wanted to do the regular transfer. Okay, you're gonna go transfer 103 pound instantly you have a call that's being placed to your extension again you can go ahead and pick it up handset speakerphone whichever your method is right so now receptionist is speaking with the person inside the office party calling from the outside it's on hold listening to hold music once you're done talking right you got a couple of different options press transfer again Okay, now you or your lines are open and the person from the outside it's talking to extension 103, right? So they're talking and you transfer that call. Okay, so we're going to show you that again, and, but we're going to show you with the receptionist phone, which is a lot easier. Okay, call comes in from the outside, receptionist picks up the call, and she's going to transfer it to extension 103. Okay, so she hits transfer, and then this button, and then instantly, 103 starts ringing, receptionist is talking to them, right, and once they're done, she hits transfer, the two parties from the outside are talking. Okay, so we're going to try that again with uh, blind transfer. And blind transfer with the phone, without the uh, receptionist phone, I'm going to show you that. And, and I'm going to show you with the receptionist phone. Okay, sorry about that. Press the wrong button. So, we're going to do the blind transfer now, which is this one, to extension 103. So, you're going to go transfer 103 pound. Instantly, the call gets transferred from the outside, right? So, what you just did, you send the call from the outside, you did a blind transfer, so the party that's going to answer that call is not going to know that who's, who's calling. They're not going to know anything about that particular call. So I'm going to show you again with the receptionist desk, right, with the sidecar, same call coming in. And this is how easy it would be. Blind transfer, 103, done. Receptionist transfer the call and it's done instantly. Calls coming in, she just says blind transfer, transfer, whatever the extension. And these extensions can be programmed to anything that you wish. They could be uh, programmed to a, uh, a speed dial, uh, someone's cell phone, um, you know, just a lot of different things that we can program into these. Um, you know, even to transfer the calls at night, a uh, couple of different other scenarios. And, you know, once if you have questions about that, just go ahead and ask me. Um, Oh, oh, you know what, one thing I forgot. We're gonna simulate a, a couple calls coming in, right? Uh, so the receptionist, how she can hand, answer a bunch of calls at the same time, right? We got a call coming in, okay? So that's a call from the outside, they're talking, right? We're gonna simulate another call coming in, okay? Okay, so instantly, um, you see that other line blinking there, right? So she picks it up, puts this, tells this person to hold, okay? She presses that on hold, 
I mean, she presses that button, the call that she was on instantly goes on hold, right? So this is the call that she was in. Right, so she wants to go back to that call, she presses that, and that call is back active, they're talking back, and the other call is on hold, right? So she's like, okay, you know what, let me go back to this call, same thing, right? And then back to this call, and back to this call. It's as simple as that. And let's say another call will come in, it will go here, another call will go here, another call, another call, another call, another call, right? So she can then, you know, talk to them, um, transfer the call, um, or take a message, whatever the situation may be. So uh, I'm going to show you the uh, last thing, which is kind of like a little bit the most important part of the whole video. Uh, we're going to show you how to park a call. And parking a call is, as you remember, um, it's for people that are waiting for someone that's on the phone or waiting for someone that's on, on the outside or whatever the situation may be. That's what they're waiting for. So um, we're going to park a call. Right? I'll show you how simple it is. And this is with all the phones. All the phones will, are going to work the same whether you have this or not. So here's the park call. And I want you to listen to um, the parking space that it's going to announce. It's going to announce a parking space. And, um, and I'll tell you why that's important. So you press this button. Okay, 71. Okay, so we're going to park another call coming in from the outside. Okay, we're going to park it. Okay, 72. Okay, so call came in from the outside. 71 is for the CEO of the company, 72 is for your manager, right? So you got to remember who was and who. Once they come back from the line, right, they go 71. Pound. Okay, so 71 is now connected. Once they finish talking, right, they can hang up and go, you know what, you have somebody on 72 now. So 72, right, and that's how they pick up the park call. That 71, 72, 73, whatever feature it may be, that is, can be picked up from any phone in the system, right? It doesn't have to be this exact phone here. It could be, the, you know, it could be any phone. So you just tell the person, hey, um, you have a park call on uh, 71 or 72. And sometimes what most people like to do, they like to like maybe um, intercom the person, right? So for example, if you want to intercom extension 103, right, you can pick up the phone or, or that star 80103 and instantly it put it on speakerphone. And you can say, hey, you have park, uh, you have your wife on 72, and you have a client on 71, right? So then you tell that person, hey, you give them the option. They can choose to talk to their wife, get rid of that call real quick, say, hey, listen, I'm busy, and uh, pick up 71, which is, you know, an important phone call from a client. So that's going to wrap up our tutorial about using uh, the Cisco 504, 508, 506. And by the way, this works with the uh, Cisco 303s, Linksys 942s, uh, 962s. Um, all of those, they work pretty much the same. Nothing changes. Just the phone looks a little bit different. Um, if you remember, if you have any questions, my email, carlos at thecisco guys.com.